Two minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engine full power. And lift off. The Falcon Heavy. Go Falcon Nine. Go Falcon Heavy. Go Echo Star. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. We are just over 30 seconds into flight under the power of over 5 million pounds of thrust and Falcon Heavy is on its way to space. Right now, we're throttling down in preparation for max Q, which is, of course, the moment of key. Power and telemetry nominal. Call outs there that power and telemetry are both looking good for Falcon Heavy. Again, what we're preparing for next is max Q, which is the peak mechanical stress on the rocket. So that is a critical Falcon is supersonic. critical flight milestone for us today. And with that supersonic call out, we know that Falcon Heavy is moving faster than the speed of sound. There we've passed through max Q. So now the engines are throttling up. Everything's looking good with the stage one trajectory, which is great news. Our side boosters are throttled all the way up right now, but the center core is operating a reduced power. We'll gradually begin reducing thrust from the side boosters to decrease forces on the vehicle structure as we approach our next major flight event, BICO. BICO, which stands for booster engine cutoff, is expected at about two and a half minutes into flight. That's where we'll shut down the engines on the side boosters. And then following BICO, the side boosters will separate away from the center core and begin their trip back to Earth. The center core engines will then ramp up to full power and burn for approximately another minute, while the side boosters execute their boost back burns simultaneously. Incredible views of Falcon Heavy right now. And as a reminder, although we are not attempting to recover our center core due to performance today, we will be attempting to land those two side boosters on landing zones one and two, so we'll have great views for you on the right-hand side of your screen. Side booster separation confirmed. Side core separation. There, we've had confirmation of side core separation there. Booster boost back shut down. There's confirmation that the boost back burn on both side Bico. boosters has Stage completed. separation confirmed. Acquisition signal for Muta. Stage one FTS has saved center core. In back ignition. So you saw on your screen there, we had successful boost back burn on the side boosters, main engine cutoff on our center core, stage separation, and that beautiful view means that we have had second engine start one. That will wrap it up. Fairing separation confirmed. That wraps it up for our center core and our fairing halves tonight. So while stage two now continues on its journey to space, those fairing halves are currently falling back to Earth. All vehicles are following nominal trajectories. With that, we know both vehicles, the center core and stage two, are on nominal trajectories. Five booster landing burn. Landing burn has started. Five booster landing leg deploy. Side booster landing confirmed. That is absolutely incredible, and as you can see, our team is thrilled. Stage two, FPS has saved. With that, we have successfully landed on both Falcon Heavy side boosters on landing zones one and two. That marks the 211th and 212th overall successful landing of an orbital class rocket. Payload deploy confirmed. There is that confirmation from Mission Control, and obviously you can see on your screen that we have had successful deployment of Jupiter-3.